All right, so today I'm going to just go over how to install Divi. Um, just also go over some of the features of this powerful uh, theme or uh, platform that we want to use. And let's go through the whole thing. So the first thing I want to do is just go to Appearance. So let's start with a fresh installation of WordPress. I cleaned it up, it doesn't have any pages, everything's set to default, so I'm gonna start with this. So over here, make sure that you download a copy to your computer of Divi, click on Add New, Upload Theme, choose File, and let's, I think I have it open over here, so let me just open the folder, here's the copy, I'm just gonna drag it over here, over Choose a File, and click on Install. So this is, as you can see, all the way at the bottom of the screen, it starts uploading. So if you want to track the progress of it, right now it's uploading and it's done. Now, it is uploaded. So if we go to themes right now, we should see another tab for it. So let's activate it. For the purpose of this specific exercise, I'm not going to actually create a theme actually a child theme but you know what let's might as well create one we all know how to do it but i'll just go over it again i'm just gonna go to plugin add new child theme so let's start from scratch over here install i'm sure everyone is familiar with this process so let's just do it really quick do it together it's not going to take that long it's activated let's go to tools child theme analyze and scroll all the way to the bottom create a new theme and our child theme has been created so I'm going to go to appearance and activate my child theme. Then I'm going to go back to my plugins and delete that plugin by deactivating it and then deleting the plugin. I don't need it anymore. So keep that a habit of yours. Keep it a habit. So the first thing we're going to do right now is go and add a page on our website. So let's call it home page since we don't have a home page and i'm just going to create a profile page or something that is very simple so this what you see right now is related to wordpress okay and what it comes with we don't want that we want to use dv builder okay so let's click on use dv builder so that should reload right now save and we should see something else let's wait for it start building so what we're seeing right now over here is called the active the visual builder so this you actually build the website while you see what you're doing so it's not something where you build and then you can preview it it's a live building tool so i'm going to click on start building over here I'm going to add a row. So each website, as you can see, is built off rows and columns. So I'm just going to add a normal row right now just to fill it up with something. And I'm just going to click and add a text over here. And I'm just going to go over the different sections of this. Now, as you can see over here, the blue part represents the actual row on a page. And these are the different rows and how you want to structure them. So over here, we have a tool. And the first one is to move it around if you have multiple rows over here you have a row setting and over here you can duplicate a row and this is the actual section so if we just hover over it section setting so the blue part is a section setting and in it you have multiple rows so this is one of the first rows that you have over here you can save a row to a library so you can use it in other on other pages if you want so let's say you create a specific design that you really like and you want to use it on multiple pages you can do that too over here you can change the structure of a column so you want it to to be a two column layout three columns six columns it's up to you and you have different combinations over here and inside each of your rows you have different models so this one is the text model okay so i'll come back to all that stuff later let me just click here 
save it as a draft for now and I'm gonna click on exit visual builder I didn't give the page a name or anything like that because that's not how I usually set up my pages okay and you can see this is the actual page so let me go back to the my dashboard all right we're gonna go to this section it's called the DV settings section so over here you can change any of the settings of your DV theme so let's go to theme options so I know before we had a section over here where you can select your themes and it has uh, customized but since this is a very complicated theme or a framework we have more options and more different things where you can control on your website okay so over here you can upload your logo okay you can change your block style you can change the sidebar layout you can have it to the right or the left of the screen you can play around with your WooCommerce page layout also if you want to use Google Maps and you have the API key you can use it over here so you can enable it uh, over here you can use Google font so it's built into it you have uh, all the different social media sharing platforms i mean google plus is not uh, there anymore so you can disable it we don't need anymore so whatever you enable over here you can insert your facebook twitter all the social media platform you can put a link to it over here and it will be added to your website automatically and you'll see the icon and a link to your social media profile now you can go through all that stuff on your own if you want but i mean some of the interesting features I really like to add is back to the bottom so this inserts a little um, arrow at the bottom of your page to send you all the way to the top and also it enables smooth scrolling so everything scrolls down smoothly it looks very nice another thing over here is if you want to add any custom CSS to your page this is a section for it so you can start typing for example body and it's color coded and autocomplete for some of the text so you don't have to put the curly bracket it adds it up for you so this is a very good feature so you can add your code over here you don't have to install another plugin to do it or create a separate CSS file for it you can just put it in here and once you're done you can save it now to upload our logo I'm just gonna do it right now since we're here I'm gonna click on upload and uh, I think I have a logo over here that I want to use for this so this is transparent logo I want to use it for this specific exercise but for now I'm gonna upload this colorful one all right and then I will change it once I go through the exercise so let's start with this this is a really nice logo as you can see we have something smaller over here that we also can use but I'm gonna go with the big one drag and drop as you know of course you can fill all the alt tags and all that stuff over here but for this exercise we really don't need to do this let's keep it quick and fast so uh, waiting for this okay set a logo and let me see so here are some other tabs that we can look at the navigation okay if you want to enable drop the menus uh, display home link on the front page categories how it will show up uh, page builder so the thing that we just saw before at the beginning of the exercise where you actually saw the visual builder that's the main thing about and the most powerful thing about Devi it gives you that ability to actually use that tool to build your website and structure it any way that you want. So I'm just gonna click on advanced over here. And over here it says enable classic builder. I'm gonna turn that on, enable the latest, okay. Tour, so let me save that stuff. Okay, some people don't like the latest one and we'll see how it is. Um, let's check generation, okay. Layout, single page layout. Okay. you can insert some ads on your website you can use some of the SEO stuff over here if you want so you don't have to really install another plugin to do it but we really rather use something called Yoast 
to do all that stuff, but you can still use it if you want. Over here, you can insert some code in the header. So if you have some JavaScript, Google Analytics, so if you don't want to install the actual plugin to do that stuff, you can just insert the code and it will do all that stuff. So you have a lot of things. This will save you a lot of effort and maintenance. So you don't really do not need to install other plugins to do the same functionalities as this built-in stuff. So you don't need to install the Google Analytics plugin, but I'd really rather use the other one instead of this. But if you want to use something really basic, minimize the amount of plugins that you use on your website, this is a good option. And over here, if you have a username and an API key over here, you can, you have to put it over here so you can get the updates for your actual theme. Otherwise, you won't be able to update it. Divi is a premium uh, theme. So basically, you cannot get the updates for it unless you actually pay for the actual theme. It's not free and you can get it from the Elegant Theme website. So this is just a quick intro, okay? And also over here, if you have the Steam Builder and other stuff, but if you wanna go into details onto the different scenarios and how your website should be structured and all that stuff, it's over here, we'll get to it, but it's really easy. We just click on customize and you'll see a lot of options over here to customize your website. So when it comes to, um, this is how the website right now looks like, but how to set up your menus, how to do all that stuff. So this is just the first taste of how this works. I'm just gonna click on cancel, save this video, and then we'll continue with the second one after this.